Hello there. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Jason, and I am once again on my bike riding to conquer cancer, and I need your help. Thanks in advance for spending a few minutes to listen to my story. Why do I ride? Specifically, why do I keep riding in the Ride to Conquer Cancer fundraising events? Simply put, because we haven't finished what we started. In the early spring of 2008, the team at Princess Margaret Cancer Foundation made it a goal to conquer cancer in our lifetime. They've made incredible progress towards that goal, but they aren't there yet, and so I keep riding. This event means a lot to me. When they announced the first ever Ride to Conquer Cancer, I was, plain and simple, fat. I played hockey once a week in the winter, but I was nearly 230 pounds, and I spent most evenings year-round plunked on a couch eating junk food. My doctor was strongly encouraging me to get my weight under control, and I was showing signs of blood pressure and cholesterol issues. I needed to get active. At the same time, my dad had just recently recovered from prostate cancer, and so the idea of using a cancer fundraiser to get active and hopefully raise some money for the cancer fight was compelling to me. I had many friends and family members who had been affected by cancer, but none as close to me as my dad. So I signed up for the two-day, 200-kilometer ride, hoping to help the cause and at the same time get in shape. I learned during that June weekend in 2008 that I was a lot more emotionally involved in this fight than I had ever given thought to. When I rode that year, still woefully out of shape and overweight but trying hard to improve, I was left in tears at how easy my life had been compared to how hard some of these other people had to work just to survive. I was riding with and beside people who had undergone chemotherapy, even some who were still in treatment for cancer while trying to complete the same ride I was. I'd camped that first year. After we had finished dinner, they announced that the last rider had finally finished, and they called her up on stage. It took her a while to get there, because she only had one leg, having lost the other one to childhood cancer. And still, and still she rode for more than 13 hours to finish the 100 kilometer ride that first day. There wasn't a dry eye in camp that night, and I still get goosebumps thinking about it. That first ride to conquer cancer weekend changed my life. I realized how important it was to me that my kids never have to worry about cancer, ever. I've ridden in six rides to conquer cancer, five times here in Toronto and one in Calgary. Each one has been amazing and another reminder of how important it is to beat this disease. The 2012 Ride to Conquer Cancer was another amazing experience for me as I was able to share my love of cycling and my sense of purpose with my 15 year old son Alex as he joined me on the ride. Crossing the finish line while holding his hand was a moment I'll never forget. Sadly, in the past year, I've lost another family member to cancer, and I'm dedicating this year's ride to my Uncle Rick, who died from the effects of lung cancer earlier this year, missing out on years of his life because of this awful disease. Over the five years this event has been held, we've helped raise nearly a hundred million dollars for the Princess Margaret Cancer Foundation. Let me have a moment more to talk about where all this money goes. The Princess Margaret Cancer Foundation is Canada's largest research center devoted to cancer treatment, research, and education. They are making real progress in solving the cancer enigma. 25 years ago, 90% of sarcoma patients died within two years. Today, 75% of those patients are fully cured. The Princess Margaret is leading cutting-edge research into personalized cancer treatment to help cure the remaining 25%. The funds donated go directly to the researchers and treatment teams to help cure cancer patients today. This work and the ongoing care of thousands of patients does not come cheap. I'm not a wealthy man, and I can't help by personally giving the millions they need to fight this fight. So I do what I can. I ride. And I ride. And I ride. And I ride. And I will keep on riding until they conquer cancer. I'll happily do the training to complete the Ride to Conquer Cancer again in June 2013. My son Alex has signed up again this year too. We need your help again this year by making a tax-deductible donation today. 
It'll only take a few minutes of your time to go to the web pages shown on this screen and use your credit card to make a contribution to our fundraising campaigns. The money you contribute goes immediately to the foundation to help them beat this horrible disease. Know that you are helping to save lives with your donation. Please, give generously and help us conquer cancer in my lifetime. Thanks again for listening and thank you in advance for your help.